Now that we know what parallel and perpendicular lines are, let's try to figure out whether um, some lines that they give us are parallel or perpendicular or possibly none of those. So we, they've given us here uh, two equations and in these equations they're asking us to determine whether the given lines are parallel. Before we start we have to figure out what does it mean for lines to be parallel. So in order to, for them to be parallel, that we know that their oops slopes, I'm going to go ahead and write slope instead of m, slopes are the same. Okay, well the only way that I can determine whether the slopes are the same or not is if I can see the slope in the equation. So the very first equation there was 8x plus 4y, oops, 4y equals 12. Okay, in order to be able to see what the slope is, I really need to solve this equation for y so that it's in that um, y equals mx plus b form so that I can read the slope right off of there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 8x from both sides to get 4y equals. Now, because x comes before the plain numbers, when I move this 8x over, I'm going to put it in front of the positive 12 so that the order of the variables and the constants are the ex where they need to be. Now, to get y alone, we're going to divide every single term by 4 so that y is by itself. So that will be y equals negative 8 divided by 4 would be negative 2x and then 12 divided by 4 would be a positive 3. So the slope of this line is a negative 2. Now let's see what the other line looks like. We have negative 8x minus 4y equals 28. So we, need, we can't just look at it and tell, it's got to be in the right form. So let's add 8x to both sides to get negative 4y equals positive 8x plus 28. Remember, I put these in the right order as I moved that over. And now if we divide everything by negative 4 to get y alone, we'll have y equals 8 divided by negative 4 would be negative 2x, and 28 divided by negative 4 would be negative 7. So our slope of this line is a negative 2. Now remember, in order for these things to be parallel, their slopes had to be the exact same thing. And in this case, the slopes are the same. So these are parallel lines. Let's look at another example. This one's actually going to go a little bit quicker. Uh, because look at these example, uh, these equations. These equations are actually already solved for y, right? Okay, we're supposed to determine whether these given lines are perpendicular. Well, in order for them to be perpendicular, the perpendicular slopes, if you'll remember, are um, opposite sign, opposite reciprocals. All right. Well, this very first equation here, the slope is 11 because this is already in the correct order. In the second equation, our slope is negative one-fifth. Now, in order for these to be perpendicular, which is what they're asking, then the slopes have to be the opposite sign, which they are, but then they have to be reciprocals of each other, and that's not true. So these lines are not perpendicular. Let's try one more example. Here it says, determine whether the given linear equations are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So in order to do that, we need to get um, our equations in the right order so that we can see it. So I've got my first equation here. Let's solve it for y. So we'll have 3y equals add 9x to both sides. Now we're going to divide by 3, so y will equal 3x plus 7. The slope here is 3. For the next equation, we have x plus 3y equals 6. If I move that over, 3y will equal negative x plus 6. And dividing both sides by 3, we get y equals negative 1 third x plus 2. The slope in this case is negative 1 third. These slopes are opposite sign reciprocals of each other, which means they have to be perpendicular lines.